Does this watch really run on beer? Cool. And if so, how? Hello, Chip Dippers, and welcome to another episode of Lady Fractic's Retro Recipes. I hope you've all had a wonderful and merry holiday. Speaking of merry, I've been wondering, as I imagine most of you have too, why isn't there a watch that runs on beer? And lucky for me, Santa heard my wish, and he delivered. Ta -da! This is the new high-tech product, the Water Watch. No batteries needed. The only watch that runs on ordinary tap water or beer. You know, it's interesting because this specific packaging says that it runs on tap water. And I've seen other versions of this that do state that it runs on beer. But it seems as though something has happened where the marketing team has removed the beer option. Probably kids wanted to see how cool it was and borrowed their parents' beer. Hmm. The comments exposed better than the Italian stick. When an alcoholic Guinness. Thirsty, babe. Excuse me. <coughs> Thank you. We'll get back to that in a minute. Worldwide patent pending water watch. LCD course accuracy, hour, minute, second, months, and the date. Aren't we lucky? How often to add water? Add water to watch when display becomes dim. It lasts approximate for a few weeks, depending on the humidity in your area. So I'm assuming in dry California, it'll last about two weeks. And in hot, humid Florida, it'll last forever. Now, how to add water. Place the water watch under a tap as shown in figure one. This is figure one. Turn on the tap and apply water to the holes on the lateral side of the watch for a few seconds. Turn off the water tap. Don't forget to turn it off, especially if you're using beer. Shake the watch slightly for two to three times. The display will then be clear. If not, try step B and C again. Remember, if you don't succeed, try again, unless you're skydiving. Here are some examples of the different displays in the calendar settings. All right, let's unbox this. Whoa, that's cool. All right, here is the watch. Water activated. Made by Lenive. Fill with H2O from this side. You can see the little holes and you can see the, it's water resistant, which is helpful when you are soaking it in water. Here are our two buttons that we are meant to depress. You can see this is where the water will flow out of. And then here's the coolest part. As you can see, we can see where the water flows through. And then here we can see the PCB, which reminds me, if you'd like to make your own water watch, you can visit our friends at PCB Way, where you can get a PCB starting at just $5. And as we all know, PCB stands for Pretty Cool Booze Watch, doesn't it? Now we get to find out if this will actually work with beer. So let's put Perry's Guinness to the test. Rude. Well, just before we do that, you might be wondering when this watch first splashed onto the scene, who is the company behind it making waves? Well, details are actually quite murky, but it seems that MST was founded by Fritz Mayer and Johann Studeli in 1888 in Switzerland, later opening a UK office, and they expanded to create complete watches under various names, including Madonna, the name some of these water watches are branded with, although it's unclear if this was just another factory using that name. Rumors did swirl though, suggesting the manufacturer was bought up and then submerged and silenced by a battery giant for obvious reasons. Unlimited energy from your tap, anyone? So with the patent number listed on the packaging going nowhere and Lanive being all but unheard of, this tale of time is soaked in mystery. But if you can liquidate the myth and happen to know for sure who patented the water watch, drop a comment below or by fax. Just don't tell Duracell we said any of this.
it seems like we have a bit of a clog. Let's poke it with a stick. How do you say that without moving your lips? Cool, now let's fill those remaining chambers for maximum charge using a more accurate method this time. Day. Five hours later. Hour. And minute. And there we go. Water lot of functions. Let's see if it's Perry approved. I can't believe that worked. That's amazing. But now I want to know how did that work? Inside the watch, two metal buddies hang out. Magnesium or zinc, the anode, and copper, the cathode. Just like in a battery or capacitor. Magnesium is the generous type. It's atoms always ready to toss away their sparkly electron treasures for a bit of stability turning into positively charged ions. Copper, on the other hand, is the collector, always keen to catch those shiny electrons. Splash in some electrolyte soup that can conduct electricity, like water and beer, and voila! The circuit is connected between the metals, and those electrons eagerly dash towards the copper and en route are drawn into the watch's power circuit. The watch, like a mini wizard, channels its electric jive, keeping the time dance ticking smoothly, all with just a dribble of beer. So it's like having a science experiment on your wrist. Then everyone's throwing up. Well, it is beer. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and support below and cheers. Cheers.